What is up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Beginner Bike Build series, which is not a beginner bike, it's not a build. Welcome to another episode of me goofing around with the motorcycle that uh, I have no uh, qualification to goof around with. This is actually day two of the two days I normally spend working on the bike. I just wasn't really feeling it, but I do wanna walk you through, because I did film a lot of what I was doing, so I'll walk you through everything I did. So first things first, we uh, finally finished up putting on the new throttle. Um, that was a big, big step, so I'll show you guys that now. We finally removed the air box uh, with the mechanic that I told you guys about. We installed on the new uh, throttle body, the new little pins. Um, it's crazy because, you know, even when he took off this entire assembly, we had to take off the entire throttle body. The, the actual little beads that seat the actual little drums that move and close and open the throttle body, they were corroded on there. Um, they were actually corroded and kind of rusted on there, so he had to like use PB Blaster and a Dremel and to just drill them out. So it's a pretty involved job, all things considered. I'm really glad that I didn't get to that point and was like, oh shit, well now what, you know? So I got as far as I could. We chopped off the old insulators. I've got new insulators coming in. Uh, and now I went through and attached the new starter housing, the new throttle tube and the grip on there. I put the brake lever back on and look at this. We got a working throttle, baby. And a lot of people I saw on the comments for a couple of the other videos were saying that I could have stuck with the old ones, but honestly guys, the big reason why I didn't is because this entire part here was all rusted over. This is incredibly sticky and it wasn't due to uh, any kind of lubrication needing to happen inside the housing itself because uh, whenever we took off the old cables, there was actually a kink inside of the old one. And it just, you know, the fact that the, the ones down there were corroded as well, made me feel really good about swapping out everything. I don't feel like it was an unnecessary thing that we did. So I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy with how this came out. It's got a nice amount of free play in it. I personally, you know, this is personal preference. Um, I like a throttle to have very, very little free play. I like it to when you crack it open, it just instantly kind of cracks. This is also a quick turn throttle, so you see here it doesn't require very much to get it fully wide open throttle. So I'm very pleased about that. But we also found another issue, which I've ordered the replacement part for. Um, if we look here, if we look right there. So if you don't know what this is, this is the cable that opens and closes the transmission. This is actually a little bit frayed right here. Um, that was something we found while we were working on the throttle body. I had not noticed that whenever I was first kind of inspecting and looking over this bike, part for the course for all yammy new if not seeing things. So I ordered a new replacement clutch cable. I'm uh, gonna pop that off, pretty easy install. But then again, I have said that everything on this bike is gonna be pretty easy and it's not. Uh, look, at, look at that new cam chain tensioner. Look how great that looks. What, what excellent work by yammy noob. We also went ahead and put on the new cover for the gauge cluster. Uh, let me show you guys. So this is the old cluster. As you can see, it had some damages. It was just kind of old and crusty and kind of, you know, just, just really kind of crappy. And for me, uh, this is a super important part of the bike because it's something you, you know, you're always looking at. It's, it's what you see out of whenever you're riding. So I wanted the person to win this bike to have a nice cockpit view out of here. Uh, what we also did, I went through and I repainted the rear of this. Um, Mostly because this entire assembly in the rear here used to be chromed out, but it had uh, chips and flakes and cracks all over it. And it wasn't like regular paint. It was like this weird kind of long coated, like sticky, metal-y kind of stuff. So that's why you kind of see it right here. That's where it kind of chipped off a little bit. Um, but 
Overall, I think it looked pretty clean. I think it definitely cleaned up the look of the front of the bike for sure. The other thing we're working on is the front headlight. As I mentioned in my previous video, I was super dumb and I snipped off the old H4 plug that plugs right into the headlight there, so that was my mistake. Now I'm figuring out the turn signals, should get it routed up, should get it good to go, and we're just gonna keep wrenching on this thing, my deeds. We're just gonna keep going, my deeds. Hey guys, this is Yam from the future. Hope you're having fun watching this episode. Today's episode is brought to you by Cardo Communications. Cardo, if you don't know, they are the OGs of the motorcycle communicator game. They made the Scala Rider back in 2004, and they have been a huge supporter of the channel. So do yourself a favor, go and check them out in the description below. If you've only ever heard about Cena or any of those kind of communicators, you really should check out Cardo because they actually make higher end systems and are the original manufacturers of communicators. So go and check them out in the link in the description below. Use the code YAMI to get 20% off of your Cardo system and get started today. All right, let's keep going, guys. Alright guys, what is up? Bit of a tight quarter situation here in the garage. I got the Z in here because uh, it's raining outside and I normally keep my car inside so kind of tucked away here in the corner. Um, wanted to update you guys on what's happening with the bike. Uh, this is my third day of filming with it. Maybe fourth? I don't know. I've spent most of this holiday weekend uh, wrenching on this bike, um, which I've learned a lot, don't get me wrong. I am so close, guys, we're so close to stitching this thing up. I am 
beyond excited to, to get it done and get it going and, and see how, how it all works out. Um, we're still waiting on the rubber insulator clamps for it for the intake uh, manifold, like the air box rather you would call it, uh, the four intake runners where the throttle body meets. And we're waiting on that little piece because uh, remember we had to chop it off because it was old and dry rotted. Um, the problem we are running into right now, which I would love uh, anyone's help with if they know, is the rear tail light. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Also, don't mind this, guys. This is temporary because I'm waiting on the ring to place this in. Um, so this is just a stopgap solution to put the headlight into place there. It is not permanent. I'm not gonna leave it looking like that. Please don't ring me in the comments for the love of God. Okay. So here's what's happening with this. So we turn on the bike, lights come on, very cool. Um, rear lights come on, as you can see there, but uh, turn signal, you can see it lights up over here, very cool. It's lighting up over there. It does a cool little blinky thing and lights up on the side that it's supposed to. Uh, here is the problem though. I'm gonna try to show you guys this on camera if I can. So right now, Get a slow zoom going. Right now on the rear tail light, this is permanently stuck on amber. Uh, when I actually turn the turn signals on, it flashes red, as you can see. Um, so it's doing the opposite of what it's supposed to. And because it's doing that, whenever it's stuck on amber, it doesn't light up the rear lights. Um, and I know that it doesn't do that because whenever I have that on, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, but this is me This is me holding down the brake lever, and that's me not holding down the brake lever. So the brake lights are working, but it's wired backwards for some reason, which is extremely confusing because I literally wired this up exactly as it said to on the uh, instructions for the LED lights. I, I, I put the, I, I literally wired it up exactly as the instruction says, so I really don't know what's going on. Um, I think it has to do with the fact that, I think it has to do with the fact that when I installed the front headlights, uh, the turn signals are permanently on for some reason. Um, not a bad thing. I actually like the look of the bike when the turn signals are, are running. And the cool thing is whenever you flip this on, it, it blinks. And so this blinks and the headlights, I'll show you guys. Again, please don't mind the headlights, guys. It's just it's a temporary solution. See how they blink? So it works, right? I know it works. The issue is making this work correctly uh, so that we get, basically they need to be reversed. So maybe if I try swooping, flopping the wires around, maybe that might work. So. I'm about to give that a try. Well, boys, can't get it to work on this episode, um, but I'm gonna keep trying and figure something out with these wires here. There must be some combination of them uh, which works out. I've already blown up one fuse trying to do that on this front headlight, so I've got extra fuses in case it blows up again. Not really concerned, fuses are cheap anyways. Um, so yeah, I'm sure we'll sort that out, but the bike's coming along great. Thanks so much for checking this out. Thanks so much for tuning in and uh, you know, if you are interested in winning this beautiful, beautiful bike, uh, which it will be beautiful. Honestly, you know, all things considered, I think this thing is super cool. I think because of the fact that I've just had my hands on it in almost every capacity um, has made me kind of love it a little bit more. Like it's a ship bike, but it's my ship bike and it will be someone else's ship bike in the future. You know, just the fact that I've done a lot of the stuff on it makes me feel cool about it. Like just, just opening and closing this throttle makes me feel so good because I know how much effort went into changing out just, just a simple throttle cable. My God, it was so difficult. Now every time you twist that baby open, it feels great. So I'm having a lot of fun. I think this thing's gonna be super sick when it's done. I'm looking forward to finishing it and giving it away. Um, if you are interested, you can still join up on the Patreon and enter for a chance to win for free to win this motorcycle. Uh, but if you want additional chances to win, you can sign up and then you'll also uh, join us on the Discord server, get free product giveaways and all that kind of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, super stoked on this guys. Uh, that's all I have for this episode. So I'll see you next time. See you later.